Why did this get made? Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for True Detective Night Country. Now, it's funny that my reviews for shows started with season two. I reviewed it episode by episode, and then when season three came along, I meant to review it, but I just kind of didn't want to. There was a lot of weird vitriol that with came with that season, and I just wanted to enjoy season three, and while I do not remember it as well as season one, I did find it a pretty good narrative, albeit an underrated one, I feel a much more grounded one. So when I found out that season four was happening, but didn't have Nick P Pizzolatto, Pizzolatto attached to it, I was a little bit skeptical. And then especially when I looked at who was making it, uh, this lady who had done a few uh, shows, nothing too high rated, but she did ha at least have some TV show writing experience. And then I started to read more and more about what this show originally was. Apparently it actually had been something that she pitched originally, like it wasn't related to True Detective. But in the last little while, HBO has changed hands. And one of the rules that the old CEO had was that if the showrunner did not want to do the show anymore, the show did not happen anymore. And that was obviously thrown out the window pretty fast with these new people. True Detective Night Country had the concept to be interesting. I really like the casting. I know there were some guys who were like, oh, all female detectives, blah, blah, blah. It could have been done well. There have been other shows. There's a lot of Brit shows that have done this well. Fucking Prime Suspect with Helen Mirren is a fantastic police series. I really like the setting being Alaska. There's a ton of dark shit that happens up there. Not only in terms of mental depression, alcoholism, but also shit that happens environmentally and all that. There was a lot of stuff that they could have done with it. And even when I could tell within the first episode this was not going to be True Detective, because it was definitely going off in a different direction, very much X-Files almost, I was still willing to give it a chance because I liked where it was going. I was severely let down. This is definitely one of those instances where you watch a ball roll and you just can't help but watch it hit every single bad mark as it goes down the fucking mountain. Kind of became comical how poorly written this show was. I'm not gonna give any bad credit to the actors. I think they did a good job. I liked some of the natural elements that they were showing that comes with living in Alaska and especially in a town where the sun goes down for 30 fucking days. I obviously, I had a little bit of 30 days of night thoughts sometimes. But alcoholism, depression, fucking mental illness, the entire aspect of First Nations culture out there, dealing with their own adversities and their own vices, that could have been a cool story. That's true detective, that's depressing shit. And some of them fucked it up. Kept on waiting for the writing to take a turn up. I kept on waiting for the supernatural element to become something. I kept on waiting for the main mystery to come back because at one point it just kind of disappears considering the absolute nuttiness of it. It just kind of takes a back seat between episode three and four and almost nothing happens. And then they try to wrap it up ever so terribly in the fifth and the sixth final episode to the point where there are contradictions, plot holes, and elements that are clearly poorly ripped off from earlier seasons of the show, productions like Wind River, this does not deserve the True Detective moniker in any way. Only thing that I could possibly say is I really like Jodie's performance in this. I also like the actress who plays Navarro. I thought she did okay with what she was given. Again, what she was given. There's a lot that you have to swallow. There's a big fucking dumb shit pill that's in this. And again, I know there's going to be a lot of people going, whoa, we got woke and blah, blah, blah. I didn't care. I liked where it was going. I liked the concept. I was willing to give it a chance. This show's biggest issue is the writing is bad. And there are some people who put this on a fucking pillar. It even had a higher Rotten Tomatoes rating than the first season. But at the same time, we've also been seeing, there have been a ton of articles coming out that a lot of production companies have been buying ghost reviews to up the numbers. And I, I just, I don't get it. That doesn't solve your problem of making a shitty show. You're just trying to lie? True Detective Night Country 
doesn't feel like a True Detective show. It doesn't even feel like an X-Files show. It feels like one of the nutty, oddball episodes of Law & Order SVU by the end of it. There is a moment at the end where it is so cringe-inducing. There's a reference to season one just out of nowhere for no reason. There's a ton of shit that's just dropped. There's a lot of mystery, supernatural elements, weird, creepy shit that is established pretty well in the first episode, and they never answer any of it. And it's not like they purposely do it, they just don't. They don't want to, because they can't. Because there's no way they can connect it to the overall narrative because it's bullshit. Maybe this show could have done better if it had more time in the oven, if it had maybe more experienced writers on it. The person who put this together, you know, you tried, you didn't do well. Maybe you'll take this experience and learn and make a better show next time. I did find it funny how she was defending herself on Twitter when the first initial reviews came out and then Nick Pizzolatto <laughs> responded to some of the queries. He's like, I have nothing to do with this show. Matthew's not showing up. This is, <laughs> and she really changed her tune after that. It's just not good. It's not a good show. It wasted my time, it will waste your time. It starts off pretty decent, I'm not gonna deny that. I really liked what was established in the first episode, but it slowly and cruelly, and in a really boring way, just wasted your time for the next five episodes. There are a few okay bits here and there, but when you've got six hours of a show and there's maybe, I don't know, an hour and 30 minutes in all of that, that's okay. You, you didn't do your job well. In the end, I'm gonna give True Detective Night Country a two out of seven. I was really hoping they would dive into that supernatural shit that they established. It, it was going real weird at first and I was like, I'm all for it, give it to me. I, I would like to see it get weird. But unfortunately, they decided to not really do that. Anyways, guys, those are my thoughts about this. I'm very interested to see what you guys have to say about it. Seeing a lot of different kind of description. There's some people who thought it was okay. There's some people who really thought it was bad. There are some people who think this is as good almost as season one. I saw a list on Collider where it had it as number two overall. I'm like, no. This is not better than season three. Hell, it even almost makes season two look like The Sopranos in comparison. But... Again, those are my thoughts. Very curious and very interested to see what you guys have to say. Let's have a discussion. Again, with what I mentioned earlier, don't just come in like, oh, it was woke, it's bad. Let's talk about it. Let's point out where there were some bad issues, where the writing was good if you thought it was, where the writing was bad if you thought it was. I really want to talk about the storytelling first and foremost, because that's something that True Detective has always been really good with his character and story in this show, and the show did not do well with either of them. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. Hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, see you guys next time.